Welcome to the Financial Doctor Show. Hi, I'm Nick, your host. Today, I'm going to talk about addiction planning. I'm going to use my own example. My daughter, Arisa, she is 10 years old. So that means she's going to go to college in eight years time. All right, so I assume that I need 150,000 ringgit for her education planning. She's going to go to maybe a private college locally. All right, if I assume 7% inflation rate, all right, so that means by the time Arsa wants to go to college in eight years' time, she would need 257,000 ringgit. All right, so that's a lot of money. And let's say if I have 15,000 that I've saved in ASB, or I think, yeah, ASB, 15,000 ringgit, uh, with the assumption of 7% investment return. By the time uh, Arisa is 18 and ready to go to college, I only have 25,773. So that means I still have a huge shortfall that is 231,000 in future money. So what I need to do to make sure that I have enough money to send Arisa to college, right? So I can either put lump sum investment of 135,000 or uh, annual savings of 21,000 or a monthly saving of 1,799, roughly about 1,800 ringgit. So having said that, right, when you plan for your children's education, right, you have to take into account all this inflation rate. All right, education inflation rate, so that you'll be you will have the right figure that you need by the time your child is going to go to college. And on top of that, when you look at education planning, right, what I said, you have to look at it holistically alongside with your other life priorities. For example, your retirement planning. For example, your uh, hajj planning. Uh, for example, if you want to buy property. Okay, many uh, Malaysians, right, by the time when they retire, their children are going to college. So it coincides. So if they don't plan well, meaning chances are they would use their EPF money. I mean, that what happens to many, many uh, Malaysians. So you need to talk to a licensed financial planner so that you'll be able to see things holistically, not just taking into account or taking into factor uh, inflation rate, but other life priorities. You need to see, all right, the financials that you have currently, where to put this money first. Either it should go to the education planning first or to should go to your hajj planning first or should go to your uh, retirement planning. All right, how you uh, prioritize for this and how much you want to put for each uh, of the life priorities, okay? So, uh, the same goes to if you are planning for retirement or if you are planning for um, Hatch planning, you still have got to go look at it holist holistically. Okay, so please do talk to a licensed financial planner, all right, so that you'll be able to plan properly for each of your life priorities. So, till we meet again, see you. Thank you for listening to the Financial Doctor Show. You can find the show notes and links on our website, mypf.my slash financial doctor. Subscribe and click to be notified of new videos. And don't forget your Financial Doctor appointment next week.